Fantastic. And this is for both of you guys. Robert, you've mentioned in the past that you like to cast up for these movies to hire the best actors possible. Can you and Nimrod talk about your casting choices and explain them in one sentence each? Why or how you cast each of these leads? In one sentence each for each actor? Or? Oh, oh, well, they don't describe that, so I okay. don't know if maybe. Yeah, I guess, you know, just in general, maybe yeah, okay. how you decided. Um, when it start? Sure, or? sure. You know, any any film, regardless of the genre, regardless of, 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 of anything, you need good actors. Um, as a filmmaker, you're only as good as the people you surround yourself with. And, uh, you know, when, when, when an Oscar-winning actor uh, turns to you and says, I am crazy passionate about this project. I know I can do it. I want to do it. Hear me out. You would do yourself and the film a disservice by by not taking advantage of all these awesome people that were that were there. Um, Robert early on had mentioned Elitzi Braga, someone who who when I when I heard the name I rem I recall seeing her in a film and she was the only good thing about that movie and I just loved her. So that was again that was again just uh, just a given. Walt Goggins was someone who I was super passionate about. Um, he, I tried to work with him on another film and it never came together and. And uh, we, we got him on this one. So it was the, the casting process itself was, was very different, very organic. Um, it, 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 it all came together, but, but when we had to sit down and make the decisions, it was always what feels best for this movie, what's going to help this film. And, and the first and most important thing is having talent. Lawrence Fishburne was somebody that uh, Nimrod had worked with before, and when we needed to find somebody who had seen it all and done it all, we needed someone with that gravitas you know and he was just the man yeah. and uh, you could just see that it wasn't a stretch for the actors to pretend that he has done it all when they offset they're acting the same way with their mouths hanging open listening to his stories of how he's just, he's done in Hollywood all this time so it was a uh, it was a great uh, relationship for them to have with it with that character with that actor and um, yeah just across the line we would just try to find people that were very unique very talented. Topher Grace, for instance, we knew we had to play a very unsuspecting role. We needed someone that, that kind of caught the audience off guard, yet had the talent to do comedy and then um, be villainous. So, um, yeah, it was very much just the process of taking what our, we had on the page and finding someone that was going to bring even more to it by just uh, bringing their acting chops. Perfect. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. It was wonderful. And I learned a lot. Too. <laughs>